What's up, everybody? Welcome to the J World family. It is Sunday, February. Now we're going sleigh riding. Uh, not even through the day. We're going sleigh riding. Just Rowan and I sleigh riding here at the. Park. Ow! I got hit. Oh, they hit us with salt. We got hit yeah. with salt from the salt truck. So we're sleigh riding. Two of our tubes are already popped because the snow is not thick where we're sleigh riding. But we have a plastic one, so we're putting the tube on top of that so our butt don't hurt. So I'm gonna record me going down and then I'm gonna record Rowan going down, okay? Here we go, Rowan, are you ready? Yeah. Rowan's gonna push me. Rowan, you gotta push me. You gotta get him to push me. That's not pushing. You gotta push, here she goes. She's gonna push me away. Oh God, oh God, where's the sled? Oh, there's the sled. Oh, here we go. Oh. That was fun. Hold it. Well, that was fun. So now we're gonna let Rowan do that. So I want to explain. So this video, I haven't done a video in two weeks, I think. This will be a quick video. This is gonna be video of a compilation of a couple funny things. This play riding with Rowan for a few minutes, and then I have a little funny thing to add in here. My stepson. The other night, we had him pump gas in the car, and it was hilarious trying to watch him pump gas and use a car. So that's gonna be part of this video. And then I'll probably have one other thing part of this video, and that'll be it. Just a short video, saying hi to all you. It's almost Valentine's Day, one week from today, Mardi Gras. Hey, come on, you ready? So it's just a short little video. Hope all you out there are doing well. And uh, remember, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a big thumbs up, it does help support the channel, but definitely, you know, hit that notification so you know when I'm posting a new video. So here goes Rowan. Rowan, come on. Yeah. All right, here goes Rowan. He's gonna go fast. Here we go. Yeah. Wow, she went far. All right, bring it on up. So I think we're gonna do our, go down one more time. We've been here for a little bit. I think we'll go down one or, bring the green sled and the red. We're gonna go down one more time and then I think we're gonna call it. Right, as I mentioned, today is Super Bowl Sunday. So big day of all of America celebrating Super Bowl Sunday. I'll be doing that later, cooking some food. I don't have anybody coming over, so it's just me and the kids. Caroline's at work, so we're gonna have finger foods and watch the game. First Super Bowl ever that a team is getting to play in their own stadium, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady, I've never wanted to admit he was the GOAT because, you know, he's one of my arch rivals when he was on the Patriots. I'm a Dolphins fan, but he is the GOAT. To bring a team for his first season with the Bucs to the Super Bowl, and it's the Super Bowl that they're playing home, he's the GOAT. But I will be rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs, wishing for Mahomes and the Chiefs to win their second Super Bowl in a row and see if they can become a dynasty over these next two more years after this. All right, with that said, we will be back in a little bit. Yeah. Tell them Justin's gonna go now. Justin wants to go now. All right, you gonna push me? All right. Rowan is gonna push me for my final time. Oh God. All right, push me, Ro. Stand up, you gotta stand up. Ready? Oh my God. Oh my God, Ro. Ah! Woo. Did I go far? <laughs> so this is the love of living in the Northeast for all of you that live elsewhere in the States, in the world that don't get snow. And we are getting snow right now. Um, they said we're supposed to get like one to three inches today. So, you know, I love it. Originally they said, the Almanac said this year our winter wouldn't be so bad, but we're getting, we're getting some snow. We've been getting some snow. I'm ready for winter to be over. I mean, I'm having fun right now, but um, I'm not a big winter fan. I could, I could skip winter, but there are a few activities I do like. If I can go snowmobiling, great, but I haven't been snowmobiling in years. Caroline and I are hoping with a couple friends, um, Lake George, which you watched in my previous videos, we've gone up to Lake George over the summer. They have a winter festival all February. Uh, it started this weekend. And it will be every weekend all through February, but it also is on Thursday and Fridays, which is good because Caroline works her schedule on the weekends every weekend. Um, so it looks like we're gonna go hopefully snowmobiling 
up in Lake George on a tour and we're excited about that. I do like doing that because that's a lot of fun. All right, Rowan, you ready to go your last time? Here we go. Then we're going to go home and get warmed up. All right, here we go. Rowan's getting on the sled. Get in front. Come in front. All right, cross your legs. Are you ready? Say extreme. <laughs> you win! So that's the fun we have here in the north. She's having fun, which is good. So this is our last time. I came back. We're going down together. This is extreme. Go. Woo! <laughs> That was awesome. That was awesome. All right. Well, you want to tell them it was awesome? It was me. All right, Tom, we'll see them later. Bye. All right, we got one more video. Gage showed up to the park because we only live like right down the road from the park. So he's going to go down one time with her on this big hill. As they struggle to get up to the top of the hill. Cross your legs and then she'll sit on top. Okay, here they go. Ro is sitting down. Remember, cross your legs, Ro. Oh God, oh God, oh God. They didn't make it that far. Well, at least they're sliding. <laughs> well, that was a fail. All right, well, that was all we got. It's cold. See you later. Push it in so far. This is my 16 year old stepson struggling for the first time to put gas in a car. All right, Noah. <laughs> I'll back up. We'll go to the. No, I. We'll go to the, <laughs> we'll go to the pump behind us. Uh, we have to back up. Yay! He had to push cancel. He didn't realize Yay! he had to push cancel. Yay! Is there an option? To, we have bypass. There you go. I don't do this. Stop yelling. Did you take your medicine today? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. The meds wear off around four. All right, okay. pick the pick, do, do remove it. nozzle. Do you know what the nozzle is? There you go. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's been a long day. I am watching the Super Bowl. It's on. It's been a crazy game. Uh, Kansas City is dying right now. They are losing 21 to 6. And it's down to penalties. Kansas City just keeps getting penalty after penalty after penalty after penalty. So they need to come back in the second half and, you know, stop with the penalties. Um, but a lot of things are happening. Uh, Brady made his first touchdown in the first quarter for the first time in 10 of his appearances in the Super Bowl. He's never made a touchdown in the first quarter in all appearances and this is the first game first Super Bowl he's done it. So he broke that trend. Um, him and Gronk have now scored touchdowns together twice which is huge. They've made the most in the postseason um, duo touchdowns from quarterback to player. Um, so they broke another record. You know, I got to give those two guys credit. You know, I, like I said, I'm I'm a Brady's always been a rival because he played for the Patriots, um, and I was a, I'm a Dolphins fan, so I've always had my animosity towards Brady, and plus some of the stuff that's happened with the Patriots and cheating and things like that. But this season, Brady has proven to me he is the goat. You know, no matter what happens today. I am still rooting for the Chiefs, though. I want to see Mahomes and the Chiefs pull it off. So we'll see what happens. So I'll bring you back throughout the, the second half of the game. I'm a little worried, but the Chiefs have come down, come back from worse. I think the most they've ever come back from is like they were down like 
20 or a little over 20 points. Just a press. So, second half, right we'll see the Chiefs. It is, Jim. There we go. There you go. Halftime show just finished um, with the it's weekend. Like the NFL season. It takes the so, NFL and you know, the cool thing is I'm a wrestling fan. I'm a huge wrestling fan. And this year, last year, the, the WrestleMania was supposed to take place in Buccane- Buccaneer Stadium. But with COVID hitting, they did not do it there. They just did it in the warehouse. Well, this year, WWE is bringing it back to Raymond James Stadium. So this stadium is getting a lot of play uh, this winter. So exciting for that coming up uh, in April, beginning of April. Will be all WrestleMania. So I will be back. All right, guys. So it's the uh, end of the night. I just shut off the game from it. There's a little less than, I think there's a minute and a half left of the Super Bowl. Bucks have killed the Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs have not been able to score a touchdown. It's still they only still have nine points. Um, Bucks did it. They won. Brady is winning his seventh Super Bowl. Uh, as they just said, he holds will hold more Super Bowl title wins than the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and the Patriots. Um, Chiefs just are struggling today. Their defense, I know they said they were missing three or four of their main key defensive players. But I'm going to tell you this. Mahomes, I'm, we're not getting Chiefs are going to come back next year. They're going to come back, and I think they're going to be in the Super Bowl, and they will win it next year. Because I'm going to tell you this. As much as they struggled, Patrick Mahomes, the amount of pressure that that defense from the Bucks has put on him tonight, he'd be running all over the field and throws it. And these, just, that dude is Amazing. Amazing. So, hands down, even though they lost, the, the the amount of plays that guy has put off so he didn't get hit and things like that or get tackled, amazing. But, yeah, it was not the Super Bowl that I know all of us were hoping for, not the close game coming down to the last minute. Um, but, overall, there's some fun things to watch in the game, and hopefully next year we'll see, you know, the Chiefs back in. I mean, of course, I got to root for my team, you know, because the Chiefs are in the AFC, so I got to root for, you know, I got my team, Dolphins, let's go. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, but that's it. That's the end of the night. I hope everybody had a good Super Bowl Sunday. Um, for those of you that don't celebrate the Super Bowl and watch the game, hope you had just a good Sunday. And uh, that's it. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a big thumbs up, and we will see you on the next episode of the J World Fan. Oh, real quick, I want to add. It just happened. The Bucks did just win it. But again, you know, we talked about this, the first Super Bowl where the a team is getting to play in their home stadium, which means the home team won in their stadium in the Super Bowl. I don't think we will ever see that again. So congratulations, Bucks. You did it. You won your Super Bowl. You won it at home. First team to ever play in their own stadium in the Super Bowl, and you won it. So congratulations to Tom Brady, all the Buccaneers. That's it. I just wanted to bring that to you because it just clicked. All right. Good night, everybody.